It is time for movie news with the Lose. How are you both? Super good. Good, and Super I'm excited good. to see you, nice girl. Nice to see you. Yes, um, you know, I just heard Natalie say that it was going to be like cold and, not cold, but dreary, mm -hmm. gray. Yeah. That is a perfect time for you to go see this excellent movie. I'm Ooh. so excited to talk about A Man Called Otto with Tom Hanks. It is, oh, I don't want to give too much away about it, but he is, uh, he's a grump. And he's given up on life, basically, following a loss. I don't, like I said, I don't want to give too much away. And um, a young family moves in nearby, and he meets his match with a quick-witted young lady of the house, leading to a friendship that is amazing and an extremely beautiful cat. Oh. My dad. We like cats. Yes, I love cats. And uh, so this is a remake of the Swedish film adapted from a novel. And you know when, like, Avatar Way of the Water is a great and epic feat, or a Black Panther uh, Wakanda Forever as well. But just like a nice, simple movie that's easy to follow with great acting, great story, that's what this mm. is. Oh. I mean, and Tom Hanks is always great, but it's just, it's, it's, it made my top 10 list of the year. Really? What's it yes. called again? Otto? A Man Called Otto. Oh, a Man Called Otto. It is incredible. I do know a boy named Sue. Do there you? There you go, Johnny Cash. I, Johnny yeah. Cash. Okay. Johnny okay, okay. Cash. Thank you. Yeah. You got it. <laughs> then if you're wanting something a little bit on the creepier side, mm. I'm sure you've seen a lot of previews and all over the place on the socials, Megan. So a robotics engineer at a toy company builds a lifelike doll that begins to take on a life of its own. Sort of, I guess, you know, a la Chucky. Oh. But maybe a little bit creepier and more up to date. Yes. So, if you like uh, the creepies. I mean, Bloomhouse is always, you know, a creepy production uh, house and they are behind this movie. So. Wait, I want to see Megan though. We're, I want to see that's, she, her. that's her right that's there her looking with down. The long blonde hair and the creepy eyes. Oh. Uh, <laughs> see? Creepy uh, eyes. E. So let's just talk about the box office winners at the moment. Like I said, Avatar Way of the Water, which I do want to say, and I'll mention the socials later, you know, you can have some fun playing avatars. Oh, yeah. And we might have done that yesterday, so we'll be sharing it <laughs> <Yes>. with the <laughs> public. <laughs> uh, it is visually spectacular. Should be seen on the big screen, not waiting for it at home. But it's kind of a one and done for me because it is rather lengthy. And then also, uh, Post Some Boots, cute. Okay. You know, the cat, the follow up for the Shrek cat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, Black Panther Wakanda Forever, also an epic. Not my cup of tea, but it is a lot of people's cup of tea. Okay. And then let's talk about Whitney Houston. Yeah, we saw the Whitney movie. Oh, we saw the Whitney Houston saw it. movie together. And we were trying not to sing every song at the top of our lungs. It was very difficult. It was very difficult, especially the high notes of I Will Always Love You. Right. It was, and, and my review as a non-movie person, I don't see a lot of movies. You see them yeah. all. I just wanted more of a timeline of her life because mm -hmm. we were with some people, too, that didn't know a lot about her. Yeah. And they were confused. Are we in the 80s? Are we in the 90s? Are we mm -hmm. in the 2000s? Because it didn't get that stamp. And there's so much to cover with her life. You couldn't fit it all into a movie. Well, because it starts in at a prolific moment in yes. the 2000s. Then it goes, goes back, back to the and beginning. Then it's, yeah. And I thought it was really well done. I did, too. I enjoyed and it. And I thought everyone in it was great. Stanley Tucci. Uh, oh, so good. He was great. Wait, He's phenomenal. Uh, the what's the producer's name that he played? Oh, uh, yes. Um, oh, my gosh. I know. I, like out. He's one of the most... He's the one... I see his face. Yeah. And he's Clive Davis. Clive Davis, thank you. Just oh my gosh. Me. Just came to me. Yes, Clive Davis, iconic. Yeah. It's a really fun movie, especially if you loved. And then there's also Babylon, which kind of rounds out the top five. This has Brad Pitt, Springfield Zone, and Margot Robbie, who I love. This is also a little bit lengthy and quite a spectacle. It is not a movie for everyone. Okay. If you're going to see something, just know it's uh, it's on the edgier side. Okay. So you might see some stuff that you maybe you don't say. normally see. I, I it's don't rated know. R, let's just yeah. say that. Okay. <laughs> and then the Critics' Choice Awards are coming out. Guess what we'll be doing a week from right now. Ah. We'll be flying to Los Angeles a week yeah. from now. Yeah, and I need Natalie today. Nunn to talk to Los Angeles yeah. and why there's some rain there right oh, now. Because no. that can't happen. I Please, so, no. no. Please. By the way, I got an email this morning from Critics' Choice 
saying my TV ballot was up and ready to vote on. It's, yes, it's my, earlier yes. than normal. So let's make a couple predictions yeah. right now if we have time. Okay. Uh, I'm going with, uh, and you can find all of the nominees for both uh, the movie side and then Jeremy nominates some votes on the TV side and you were on comedy this year. Yeah, yeah. I, I nominated comedy, but I vote for all for of For all, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you can find those at CriticsChoice.com. But I'm going to go with The Fablemans. It's oh. a beautiful Spielberg movie, and it kind of, you know, there's a lot of, uh, there's 10 movies in the category, and, you know, epics, Avatar, Wakanda, things like that. But Fablemans is just, it's that kind. It's that kind. What is the, what do you think is the favorite, though, with the movie? Like, is there one that stands out, like, a lot of critics are saying this is, you know, because I usually try to vote against keeps, what the critics say. It because shifting. It keeps oh. shifting from, you know, the epic value of Avatar and the production feat that mm -hmm. it is versus uh, Fableman's is very performance driven, which I'm going with Michelle Williams for Best Actress. Mm -hmm. She It is one of, if not the finest performance of her career. Wow. She is great. And then um, on the actor side, you know, there's, I mean, Top Gun Maverick's in the category. Tom Cruise right. is in the category and things like that. And... Um, I just forgot who I was picking, so That's I okay. look I, yeah. at my cheat sheet. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Uh, Brendan Fraser is the great whale. in The Whale. However, Austin Butler was Elvis. Yeah, that's so, so true. So those are sort of my tops. What about See, Well, and here's the thing, too, is I was on a nominating committee, so I kind of get an idea what other critics are thinking. Mm -hmm. Whatever the favorite is, usually, I don't know if this cancels out my vote, but I always vote on my own Personal I do fave. Too. I don't care what the, any <laughs> critic says. I'm going to vote on what I think is the best. I'm of voting the year. on yeah. what I love. Well, I then I would have voted for Top Gun Maverick. However, yeah. I loved the. Mm -hmm. I just I thought that the fable was deserved. And I I, lo I love that. But there are certain mm -hmm. like especially like with drama series or comedies that mm -hmm. I just know I thought was amazing. Maybe other critics kind of bond together a little bit mm -hmm. to be like you know what, but this one is the favorite. I don't know if that might There's cancel out my vote. There's not as much politicking for us because yeah. we do get to just vote on our, vote on our, our faves. Yeah. Right. But there is like in other awards. Yes. Yeah. That's so. so true. But a well, week from tonight, yeah. we we'll will be, be there. We'll be eating in LA. Hopefully, yes, in nice will. weather. All right. Thanks, Chris Luzeda. Hey, thanks we'll see you in the me. second hour with Kev. Yeah. Uh, don't go anywhere. Price Cutters up next with some amazing winter florals at Lily's Florals. We'll be back. Mm. I know. I, I, I was surprised. So beautiful.